Iceland is an island with half a million Vikings, mostly known for volcanoes, hot springs, and fishing, known for its welfare state, for being good and socialistic, certainly not known for being corrupt or nepotistic, but in the USA and Europe, when they were deregulating banks, Iceland's politicians took bribes and joined their ranks, soon you had a situation one would think just couldn't be a bank whose debt was worth ten times the country's GDP. When Wall Street imploded, sure enough it spread. Banks all over the world were floating in the red. All over the world, governments made the plan to cut spending and raise taxes on the working woman and man. The banks were bailed out while the people had to pay. But in Iceland, people thought there must be a better way. And the earth stood still a moment. Fear was struck in every tough when Iceland told the bankers. Iceland told the bankers. When Iceland told the bankers to fuck off. Folks were in the streets in Reykjavik and just couldn't be ignored. They said, this is a debt we Icelanders can't afford. Let's guarantee deposits of all our people, yes indeed. But as for the speculators, motivated by their greed to make really dumb investments, to them Iceland said good luck. Sorry for your losses, but we don't really give a fuck. The one percent all trembled when they took away the trough. When Iceland told the bankers, when Iceland told the bankers, when Iceland told the bankers to fuck off. think they are in Iceland. They threatened isolation and economy in flames, but the Icelanders said sorry, but the banks can settle their own claims, though that might be harder for them now that they're under house arrest, or else they fled the country as they were most unwelcome guests, and now Reykjavik's recovery just makes the fat cats cough since Iceland told the bankers. Iceland told the bankers since Iceland told the bankers to fuck off. If you haven't heard of this example, perhaps there's a reason why the owners of the world don't want this kind of shit to fly. They say we all must pay up in this shakedown by the mob if we can't afford to pay the rent because we don't have a job. They say it's not their problem if we're forever shackled in debt. We must save the one percent from the fate they should have met. But there is an alternative, though it makes the fat cats scoff that Iceland told the bankers. Iceland told the bankers. Iceland told the bankers to fuck off. That Iceland told the bankers. Iceland told the bankers. Iceland told the bankers.